There's a proverb in the American West, which is whiskey's for drinking and water's for fighting over. Because who gets access to the water has access to wealth and power. I'm Michael Weber, and I study energy and water. I decided to write a book called Thirst for Power. Energy and water are the two most important parts of society. And I thought it was time for me to share some of those findings with the rest of the world. Water has been key to life and civilization for thousands of years. In the modern world, we use water to make energy. And then we use energy to get access to water. They're interconnected. The bad news is, if we have a shortage of one, then we might have a shortage of the other, and this becomes very difficult for society. I think there's pretty good evidence that civilizations have suffered and sometimes collapsed and disappeared because of lack of water. We're sitting in the middle of Los Angeles. 90% of all of the water that enters the city actually originated hundreds of miles away. If you look all up and down the energy supply chain, water is at every critical step. That means if the water is not available the way you want it to be, the energy system is vulnerable. That can mean having to shut down a lot of power plants in a very peak period because there simply is not the water to run them. There is no backup plan. You're done. Sometimes the power system is vulnerable to a natural disaster, and sometimes the power system causes disaster. In Hawaii, they have lava flows. In Texas, we have tornadoes. In California, they have to worry about earthquakes. It's a major risk to the system. Hopefully, the big earthquake that comes, and it's coming, will be disruptive for a relatively short period of time. Over time, we learned ways to use water more efficiently, but we're gonna be forced to go further. We've learned the importance of energy and water for our civilization. I don't think we've learned the importance of managing them wisely. And I'm afraid because we're not paying attention, we'll make bad decisions and be stuck with those decisions for decades or centuries. I really want us to get it right.